what is up everybody welcome back to a, another path of diablo video um today i'm actually going to be doing a guide on general pathfinding this is going to be applicable uh for regular diablo 2 as well in fact i'll probably just title it for regular diablo 2 um but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly and efficiently find certain places that have set map types or set patterns on how to get to certain locations in a quick manner um, I'm going to leave timestamps down below to the specific rushes. Um, what I'm going to be covering today is going to be Countess, Mephisto, Chaos. I know that one seems weird, but there's a little trick to Chaos for uh, non teleporting classes. Uh, Naheltak and Bale. Um, so, like I said, timestamps down below if you know specific ones and just want to check others, or if you don't know any of them, uh, watch the video and I'll teach you what I know. Um, with that being said, uh, make sure to hit subscribe if you want to check out more videos like this. It helps me out a ton. I appreciate it, and let's hop into it. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the Countess. Um, I am going to have uh, several edits um, in this video. I usually try to run it straight through, but um, that's actually a really good spawn. Um, the first part here, um, when you first get to Black Marsh, um, there's no real pattern that I know of to find the actual thing. Um, I kind of just follow the map around the outside. Never really too close to the path in my experience, but if you just kind of follow the outside really quickly, um, you will see there we go. Um, you'll see the red uh, door entrance here, and that's the way you know how to find it. Uh, in Path of Diablo, there is no first loading area. You spawn right into the um, first floor of the tower. And really quickly here, I'm going to show you guys something. Everything I'm going to tell you guys today is based off of the starting tile. In this example, the starting tile on my map here is this whole piece right here. So not around the curve, but all the way to here. Get these guys really quick. All right. So in the, the trick for uh, killing Countess here or getting to her quickly is going to be that every floor is going to be to the left. And everything I say today will be with about 95% accuracy uh, because there is a gimmick in Diablo 2 where three lefts also make a right. Um, so every floor theoretically should be left. So if we're going left, it should be over here somewhere. Um, but it also could be left, 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 and then it could end up being the right as well so just keep that in mind i'll show you guys a couple different layouts i'll do you know uh count us here once or twice just to kind of show you guys uh, but once you know the patterns it makes this uh key farming and just general farming a whole lot easier so left from this uh panel right here is going to be over here you won't always find it first try but for the most part it's going to be always left and i always for me specifically i always follow the the furthest left wall and that's the majority of the time, but it could also be here, it could also be here, it could be here. All of that is still going to be left of the entrance, so just keep that in mind. So once again, here's the starting tile. And we're going to try to go left, and look at that right there. Easy peasy. This one is a different orientation, so this one is going this direction. So left from this direction is going to be up here. Like I said, I always follow the furthest left pattern first. And for example, this wasn't here, so it's probably over here, but this is the furthest left. Over here, where it's at, is still left of this, so just keep that in mind. It's not always the furthest left path, but 95% of the time it is always fully left. Once again, starting tile room actually ends at this door right here. Um, and we're going to go left. And there she is, and everybody knows that this final floor here is a always a set peak, so here go count us really quick all right guys we are back here black marsh once again this one we didn't get such a good spawn never mind i lied it's right here again that's super lucky once again you're just going to kind of teleport follow it all the way around the outside until you see it and then once you get in here we're going to go straight left every time there she is this pattern is actually super common in this game in general. Uh, it's either going to be straight left every time or it's going to be straight right every time. This actually could be an example of where it's not. Yeah, so this one's kind of tricky. It's actually going to be behind. 
Um, so this would be an example of three lefts is also one right. So if you can't make three lefts, technically going to be to the right. This is where this is that that part of it where I say 95% of it's going to be to the left. Um, in this case, it just doesn't work out. But as a general rule of thumb, if you just stay left, you're going to get it. I think this whole run is going to make a fool out of me. We go that one's left number five we'll do one more after this just to try to get a better seed all right let's try this one more time here this time we didn't get a good spawn like I said I usually just go around the outside of the map here Doing this with the sorceress, it's super easy. Kind of teleport around. And there she is. And we're gonna go to the left. Alright, there it is. And to the left. I'm getting like stuck on something. And that one's actually technically straight, but technically left. And as you can see, door there, left. So there is kind of that 95% um, kind of rule of error, I guess, general rule of thumb. 95% if you follow the left wall, you will hit it every time. There is going to be that occasional map that's just going to really throw that loop in there. So just keep that in mind. You know, it's all about um, numbers here. It's a numbers game, right? Have faith, and you will succeed. Alright, and that's going to be it for Countess. Moving on to next, I'm going to show you guys Mephisto. It's going to be kind of the same thing here. Um, you're going to read this starting area. The starting area is going to be this one big tile right here. And uh, same thing with Mephisto. Mephisto is always left from the waypoints. He's also always straight across um, from door uh, level one. So if you, when you're coming into level one, if you go straight, so say level one is here and you go straight, the door could be over here, right? Or in this example, it should be level one should be over here and you'd run straight, theoretically, right? Um, but yeah, so let's uh, hang out. We're going to go left from waypoints, and then it's always going to be on an outside wall. And the door can only spawn facing certain directions as well. So here. Um, so for example, you will never never find this door on this side of the wall. It could be here, but it will never, never be here. Uh, it'd be awkward to go into. And it could be on this wall, and it could be on this wall. It would never be on this side of a wall either, right? Um, so so just because of the 2D isometric, it'll always be on a left or a right wall like this. And then Mephisto himself is always in the same spot, obviously. Get Mephisto really quick, might as well. And look at that, we got some water walks. And then I always recommend hitting this chest back here. This chest back here is a super chest as well. Um, if you happen to be play playing Path of Diablo and not Vanilla Diablo, um, with the higher drop rates, it's not as useful, but still useful. All right, we'll do uh, one or two more meth runs just to demonstrate. And running meth when you first start out in early in a season is great. Uh, super low risk. You're not going to get hit. It's also pretty easy to find once you know this trick, right? So uh, starting tile here, you can read it, is um, facing this direction. This is the entrance. So from this way, we're going to go left and follow the wall around. And like I said, about 95% chance that it is going to be left somewhere. Occasionally, so here is here it is right here. Um, occasionally, like I was saying, um, three lefts make a right for some reason. So uh, for some reason, it, it, sometimes you're going to go all the way around the map, and the door is going to be over here, and you're going to be like, what the heck, Will? You told me it was left. 95% of the time, it is left. 
there's always that chance that it's not. <laughs> but if you follow the, the left rule, you will find it more times than not. Kill Mech here really quick. Do not die. Get the super chest. Uh, the other thing I recommend is if you are speed farming Mech, um, as you can see, we did this run in under a minute, even with me explaining it. You can get it down to 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, no worries. Go to Act 4 before you leave. That way, when you make your new game, you spawn in Act 4 and not Act 3. Because if you spawn in Act 3, you're going to have to walk all the way across town. And that is not fun. Alright, one more time here. Mef, follow the opening tile. And we're going to follow the wall left. Die. This one we didn't get so lucky on. But here it is. Uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, level one. But theoretically, the waypoint is always um, straight across from level one, which, if you go back this way, you guys can see is accurate in this case. We're going to keep following this around here. This is going to be one of those times where it just didn't work out for us, and it's going to be super annoying. This run's going to take 45 minutes to complete because we can't find the door. Have faith in the program. Left every time. There she is. And we'll kill him one more time here. Wizard Spike. And to Act 4. Alright, and we'll call that one uh, a wrap. Alright, next is just going to be a really quick something to say on um, Chaos here. And it's just going to be at this beginning part. It's going to be how to get to Chaos um, if you aren't a teleporting class. So if you don't have this ability to teleport right here, um, how to walk this. Uh, I, I always run into the fact that if you go this direction, so if you come in here and you go right, you're going to run into this dead end. Um, right here. And you're going to have to walk all the, you're going to have to walk all the way back around and around. And it takes forever. But there is a way to read this. And the way to read this is if there is a complete H. So this lava right here, you guys can see it kind of looks like an H. This is what we call an incomplete H. Alright, so if it's a complete H, we're going to go to the right hand side. If it's an incomplete H, we're going to go to the left. So this is what we call an incomplete H, as this is uh, jacked up right here, right? So that means we're going to go to the left, and that is true here. And then this is the second part here, and this is going to be another incomplete H here. The H is messed up, you can see, so it should be to the left here again. And it is, and we can go all the way into chaos. Now, I'm not going to do chaos, you guys don't need to see that. Uh, but we will restart the game here. And I will show you guys that in action once again. Go back to River of Flame here. Open the map. Once you can see, this is going to be an incomplete H. It does not look like an H here. So we're going to go to the left. And then the second one right here. Another incomplete H. Right here. You can see. H is messed up, so it's going to be left again, and there we go. So if you are a class that doesn't have teleport and you have to run this, like if you're playing like a Javazon or a Necro or something, um, that'll speed up your Chaos runs just a little bit. Um, I, I always read those wrong. We'll show you guys one more time. Incomplete H once again. This was complete. I'm trying to, I was trying to get a complete H. I can show you guys. Um, this was a complete H. This would be connected here, and it would be blocked off there. And then on the mini map, you can see it would look like a full H. It'd actually be sealed off. This is going to be left once again. And we'll go to the next one. We got a lot of guys here. We'll these guys really quick, just so I don't die.
I'm working on this charge bolt build. It's not great for this. It is pretty good for, uh... Oh my god, my Merc died too. Uh, it's pretty good for key farming. It's not great for overall content. Once again, you guys can kind of see the map here. I'm getting, like, um, incomplete H once again. Gonna be left. And we hit chaos. So there's that for you guys. So just know if it's an incomplete H, you're gonna go left. If it is a complete H, I'll try to put a picture of what that looks like on the screen right here for you guys. Um, you're gonna go to the right. All right, moving on. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is Nahaltech and how to get there. Nahaltech is probably one of the easiest things as it is a set map, meaning there's only three ways. You don't have to read the map. Um, you're just going to look at where you spawn. Um, for this, you do have to have the waypoint. So there is a total of three different waypoint spawns. Two of them, you're going to go straight down and left. And one of them, you're going to go right and then up. So this one here, um, this when you spawn into this waypoint room, this room will be the same every time if it spawns here. So this one's going to be straight down and left, and I will show you guys that really quick here. Thunderstorm on. You're going to teleport straight down until you hit the wall, and then left. And here she is. All right. On the second story here, there's a couple different locations. The way you can tell which way the Haltech is is based on the paintings that are on the walls right so for this specific location if the painting is right here on this wall this tile right here if there's a painting there it will be this direction every single time gotta clear smooth guys out once again uh if the Haltech is this direction there will be a painting on this wall right here so he's not that way and it's going to be this way right here. Um, if there's a painting on this wall, it should be this direction. And then I believe if it's this wall here, I believe it's this direction. We'll test my theory here. Um, but it should be this direction if I am correct, based on this painting. And I am correct. Now that can be a little bit tricky to kill, um, just because of his corpse explosion. So I like to kind of hang back a little bit and just spam in some... Uh... Alright, there he goes. We'll show you guys that a couple more times here. And Merc died because of Corpse Explosion. Normally he doesn't die if you just Telestomp him, which I should have done, but like I said, I'm still working on this class. This class isn't finished yet, so I don't want to get too crazy. It's only softcore, but I'd rather not die. But Nahaltech, once again, Halls of Pain. This is going to be Waypoint Spawn number two. This location is also going to be down into the left. This down into the left is a little more shallow, so it's only going to be a couple teleports down, and then to the left, and there it is. And then we will read the walls once again, and it looks like it's going to be the same way. Go, grab the junk, and we'll head out. Hopefully, if we're lucky, I will show you guys the third location. And that way we can get one of each. We'll have to see what it gives us. And yes, we got lucky. So this is the third waypoint. That is very, very convenient. This one is going to be um, straight right. And I'll just kind of show you. Or it's actually me left, technically. But um, it's going to be right on the map. But we're going to go down. Take the first left here. Right on the mini-map. And you're going to go all the way until you see the door, and then we're going to go up. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. We're just going to follow it around. We're going to go until we see the door here. And then we're going to go up. There it is. And then these never change. This is the painting here. So we're going to go this direction. And there he is. Alright, that's the way you should do it. You should just tell us to stop him if he moves like that. Alright, we'll try one more just for posterity here. Alright, and this one's going to be another down and to the left. There's only three possible ways, right? This one, down short left. The other one is down long left. And the one that spawns up here is down, right, up. 
Alright, and then down here, we'll go over one more time. Painting here, painting here, so it's this one. Painting here, or painting here. This one should be this direction over here. And not die. And we got some Mavina gloves. Alright. So that is it for Nahaltek. Lastly, the last one I got for you is going to be a bail run. Now, whenever I do public bail runs, <laughs> they always accuse me of map hacking. It's really not that hard. All you have to do, the first floor is always 95% is always going to be to the right. So with this one, it's going to be down and to the right. And there it is. Now the third floor here, I haven't really, I don't have any methods for this. The third floor is always just kind of going to be uh, good luck. <laughs> kind of just got to get lucky. Good thing to know though is if you run into this tile here, this tile is always a dead end. You can turn around and there we go. We got lucky with that one. I'm not going to try to kill Bale Waves with my Sork, but we will show you guys that a couple more times here. First wave, first floor rather, down, so he's going to be to the right. There it is. So by following this pattern, you're avoiding exploring the entire left-hand side of the map. Like I said, 95% chance, uh, that 5% chance means it could spawn over there, but typically it's always um, to the right here. And then um, with the bottom floor, I always go to the left first down here, but um, or go to the right rather from the spawn tile, but it's always left on the map. Um, but that there doesn't seem to be real rhyme or reason where it's, it spawns on this uh, floor here, level 3. Um, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's down over here, sometimes it's way over here. Um, it's just kind of a crapshoot on that one. So, um, But just finding that first floor that much faster will make it so much quicker for doing public bail runs if you happen to be the one that got stuck in charge of teleporting. I will show it to you guys one last time here. Finally got a different tile set. Um, so this is the tile, straight up, right. And look at that, beautiful, right there. Boom. And me personally, I always go to the left. Doesn't matter on this floor. Kind of kind of just always be random. But as you guys can see, I got the throne room in under 30 seconds. Half the time, if you're running a public game, people aren't even all in the game yet in 30 seconds. So, All right, guys, that is it. Um, those are the majority of the pathfinding um, strategies that I know of. Um, I will link a really good pathfinding uh, Google Doc in the description of this video. So if you want to check out, there's a bunch of other ones um, that are kind of more geared towards rushing um, other players or geared towards just um, like resets um, and walking, you know, like Act 1 and stuff like that on how to find stuff quickly. Um, but I mean, a lot of you guys, if you've been playing this game for 20 years like I have, um, it's just common sense. But I will link that guide regardless down in the description below. So if you want to see that guide, check it out. Uh, it's really good. Um, I believe it was made by Jesus from the Path of Diablo community. Um, so shout out to him for making it. Um, that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your support entirely. Um, I will not be putting up a build guide video just yet this week. I've been trying to get out one out per week, but I don't have the gear for this character. Um, for this charge bolt sorceress, I need a lot of charms and stuff yet. Um, so once I get the currency to finish this build, I'll be putting this build up probably next Friday. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm still trying to recover from my <laughs> gear loss from me expering and the game crashing. So I lost my Enigma, which is why I haven't put out the faux build yet. So maybe I'll just put out a, I'll put a replacement armor in there and just say get an Enigma um, for the faux build. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos Diablo 2 related. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching.